Hello everyone, YouTube is Alex here, back with some more Space Engineers. I join you once again from the depths of space, and I have no idea where I'm going with this weird intro. But anyway, I am here with this weird little thing, as I'm going to explore a bit of a concept. Um, you, you remember my orbiting satellite video I did? Where I kind of went into a big rant as to the big, sort of the big problems with having any structure orbiting around planets. Now... I'm not going to get anything to orbit around a planet because, as the aforementioned reasons in that video, it is just not practical. But I'm thinking, well, trying to have trying to have something orbit something else is still an idea I wish was a bit easier to pull off in Engineers. Um, but short of getting the planetary gravity generator, having that uh, gravity well, or whatever you want to call it, put that somewhere centre, central even, I can't even English today, uh, and have something orbiting around that makes more sense. Now to have a, I mean, well, <sighs> as tempting as it is to make a Dyson sphere around a gravity generator and trying to like make something out of that, that would be a cool idea. But the thing is, I have no idea how to make a very, very good sphere in engineers. Anyway, um, my my point being is trying to think of practical reasons to have something spinning around something else. Uh, that's not directly connected. This little thing you're staring at, or have been staring at for a little bit, uh, is one such idea, as I was thinking, uh, like, pfft. take an asteroid, for example. Uh, you are mining it out. Uh, let's just say, let's just also assume that asteroids are bigger and they take longer to mine, so it makes sense to almost, like, if you find a good, a good asteroid, it makes sense to, uh, like, defend it, uh, you know what I mean? So, if you have a gravity well of some kind in the centre of that, you could have these little things orbiting around it. Now, when I... I mean, uh, the title of the video is probably going to elude me until I actually think of one, uh, but these little things are meant to orbit around something with a gravity source uh, and be a cheap way to defend it. Uh, this is actually a vanilla variant, and I plan to go down some modded routes to make these a little bit smaller and more compact, because this thing is a bit large. Um, even though I was trying to go with a bit of a disposable theme uh, of these things, like you just shove them up in orbit, uh, once you've fueled them up with some uh, power and some ammunition, uh, you can just stick them up in orbit and just leave them there. Uh, eventually, when their power source runs out, they'll end up just flying off into the nether regions of space. You know, that kind of that kind of stuff. Uh, but th these things you just shove up in orbit, and because they have a turret, well, it's going to be a defense system. So I would, if I'm going to make some more of these, and I probably will make more of these because these are quite quick to make, and I've got some better ideas for. Well, once again, using some mods. Uh, this one won't be on the workshop just because, well, it's a bit, it's a little bit too simple to put up there. Uh, but it's more of a concept that, uh, like, we have the grab the bleh, the mass blocks at the bottom here, which we obviously facing towards the center of gravity. Turret at the top. Uh, for obviously shooting things, a couple of little decoys just stuck out on some on some poles. It's a little camera here, so you can remote control it and like at least uh, uh, the remote control and the thrusters. If you're wondering, is purely to get this thing up to speed and into an orbit orbitable path. So uh, if I actually get rid of this and uh, enable me special camera here, uh, if we fly down to this little thing, which I'm not sure what I'm going to make this yet into, it's kind of a base framework of a station but uh, as you can see orbiting around it is one is one of those little uh, defense turret things uh, although because of the, the because of these things size I would imagine you would want quite a few of these um, and depending obviously on how much gravity you've got at the center there uh, and also well how far away you're from the gravity you're trying to um, orbit from uh, well this particular device is orbiting at quite some speed I could probably uh, did I just uh, no, wait, where did I put it? Come here, come here. I was gonna, I'm going to try and follow it, if you give me a second, but I've actually completely lost where it is. There it is. Um, so, imagine, imagine like, a cluster of these, all orbiting at different directions and altitudes uh, around said central device. So, if I actually get up to speed, it is orbiting at around 14-ish meters per second, give or take, although I'm having to manually adjust my orbit here, because if I actually disable my own jetpack because players have different physics you know that kind of stuff so um, this so I think this kind of proves a point that orbiting defense systems is one idea but like I said because that central um, ship station thing at least just for the purposes of this has the gravity source which is at point two G's if you couldn't uh, already see that um, trying to actually stand on said station 
with this gravity well in place keeping these things in uh, in position and well if you couldn't also tell by the, also the, the rough distance from this uh, station here I am using the planetary gravity generator mod at least just to get these things orbiting uh, and I probably will end up using this mod again for when I have some more of these orbiting defense systems because well the default spherical gravity generator is just not enough range unless you want to have objects like this orbiting way too close for comfort and you know in, in engineers you don't want to give any object any excuse uh, to smash into something else but uh, this is quite a stable orbit um, to be honest this thing has been spinning for several hours uh, to be fair and it hasn't crashed like this is probably the most stable kind of orbit you can achieve in the game just stick up an object put a gravity in the center some mass blocks give it some speed and it's pretty much all stable. Don't try and do this uh, with your gyroscopes on because I already told you this before but this thing kind of breaks. So, um, but let me know what you think of this random concept. I, I was done a trail off and my my, uh, my power of English was uh, really starting to fail uh, towards the end of this video but hey, long day. I've just come back from work and I need to relax with, uh, well, actually I don't, I don't have a beer for once. I actually have a cup of tea so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have that but um, but this is going to be a concept that I'm going to explore a little bit, having some defense systems orbiting some kind of central gravity source, in this case a station, although more practically stick a gravity source in the middle of an asteroid and have these things spinning around it, because like, this, this thing can do an orbit pretty quickly, less than probably a around a minute to orbit probably less than that I, I, I don't know but uh, I would also say let me know of any other things like can you guys think of anything else that you would find useful in a orbiting sense like this um, you know just something that would spin around an object and like okay I have a gun in this case for defense you know what else can you have orbiting in this manner of speaking uh, the only thing that comes to mind is possibly some kind of communication relay but the thing is these th well okay th this particular example spins too fast and the well even laser antennas um they don't they can't see 360 degrees and this this thing pretty much spins on a 180 sense and you you can't have like laser antennas that like one once once one laser antenna runs out of range or cannot see uh the recipient another laser antenna could take over a bit, a bit like um seamless was it, is it seamless crossover with like Wi-Fi hotspots, um, that kind of thing. So that's not really possible. But like I said, let me know what you think, uh, or what can I do with this concept here. But uh, uh, but uh, if you didn't hear already, this will not uh, be on the workshop. But future versions of this, more refined, I should say, uh, probably will be. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I'm probably making you all dizzy by spinning around this thing uh, over time. So uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think I'll just leave this off here. Just let me know what you think. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.